Okay, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to get the Event Easy Bus Digital Mixer uh, to work in Windows 7. Um, I'm using Reaper, but it should work with it should work pretty much the same with any um, digital audio workstation software that you use. So, can I just show you a little bit about how it works and how to use it? All right, so here we have our Easy Bus. This thing is probably 10 years old. I'm not sure how old it is, but it's old. Um, but it is still perfectly functional if you have one laying around or if you have an opportunity to pick one up uh, cheap. I would recommend not overpaying for it, but you know, if you can get one for a reasonable price, I definitely recommend it. Um, it is just USB 1.0. Um, yeah, let's see here. Um, the highest you're going to get quality wise I don't know if you can see that 24 bit and uh, 48 kilohertz um, it won't do 96 over USB 1.0 um, the trick is you can't use um, the EasyBus software that comes with it that's not going to work on 7 uh, what you have to use um, it's a German company called Ploytech uh, they have a USB driver um, for external audio devices like the Easy Bus, and the Easy Bus is specifically um, supported. The version I use is 2.8.40, um, so should be able to find them online. Um, works really well. Um, the trick with it, the other trick besides not using the software is you can't run the Easy Bus over uh, USB plus MIDI plus bulk, which I think is the default setting. Uh, you have to kind of go back to the Windows 98 settings if you had it back then, which is um, USB only. And then what you do from there to get the to get it working as a control surface, you uh, have to have an external USB or uh, yeah external USB MIDI cable. Um, I'm using a Yamaha UX16. Um, you can see what it looks like right here on my drum set because I have two of them. It's got this little box and it flashes that little green light. Um, when you're using the Easy Bus, it doesn't flash the little green light unless you're actually using um, the faders. But this one, I have it hooked up to my drums so. But, um, so it's fine to have two of them hooked up at once, that hasn't been a problem. But if you look over here, you can see, if I could get it all in the shot, when I move the fader here, it moves on the screen over there. So here's a track I just kind of recorded messing around with the drums just to demonstrate. So I'm hitting play. So you can turn the bass drum down. Uh, looks like it's turning everything down. Oh well. But you get the idea. That's more. That has more to do with me not know, heck, knowing how to use Easy Drummer than the Easy Bus. Because <laughs> you can see, these faders are moving. They're just not doing anything. You can enjoy my horrible drumming reach over here and stop on that. So, like I was saying, um, you need the external MIDI cable. Um, in my experience, I found that it only worked if I hooked it to the out of the Easy Bus only. So this cable here that would normally be the in is just hanging loose. So the in plug goes into the out jack 
on MIDI IO2. So uh, when I tried to use um, USB plus MIDI plus bulk, uh, I actually got a blue screen, uh, a BSOD. It was the error was USB audio dot sys. So um, that's why you have to use the Playtech driver. But like I said, it seems to work perfectly. Haven't had any issues. Um, I can record on it, you know, without any, without much difficulty. Uh, without any difficulty. Um, it's been great. Um, I always run my audio out of the headphone jack. I can't remember why. But it's convenient because when you, when you want to use headphones, you just unplug it. Plug your headphones in there. But, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, let's see here. Go on the preferences. And you can see that's what it looks like when it's running with the uh, Playtech uh, USB-audio.de ASIO driver is what it shows up as but yeah it's pretty straightforward um, all you have to do is comp uh, program your actions in Reaper so you go into show action list and then we'll say can search so I'll do a search for transport and then play pause which is what I have mine set up as then you highlight it and then you click add and it's going to tell you to type key or move controller um, so I'm going to go over here and hit the play button and it's going to give me a warning if I, uh, I guess because it's already set to that it just programs it in there but you can see where it says mini channel 16 and then if you're setting it up yourself it's important that you import uh, export um, when you're done and save the the file so that if you ever lose it or if you ever have to reformat or um, do anything like that you'll be able to re-import it and have all your control settings now I'm going to try to put my um, template for Reaper up on the Reaper stash or someplace where folks can get to it. Um, I've found, trying to set it up, that I don't think it's possible to set it up for 64 tracks. Not that you'd probably ever use 64 tracks for this thing anyway, but um, in my experience, um, it seems like the max you can go is 32. Because what happens is, you can get 64 tracks for the fader into it, but when you start trying to do um, mute and solo buttons for 64 tracks, you start uh, overlapping MIDI messages. So I don't think, at least I haven't figured out a way to uh, get it to support all of those at once. So, But I'm unlikely to ever need more than that many tracks. And if I do, I can just you know move the fader with my mouse. So, um, yeah. So um, that's pretty much it. Uh, trying to think if there's anything else I should mention that's going to be helpful to you. Um, the way it works with the, with the multiple tracks, uh, let me see if I can add a new track here. Insert new track. So now we have, uh, oh actually, I did already have more than eight. But, so here, now this is a custom setup. I don't know if you'll be able to get your display to show this. But it is basically the default um, EasyBus template. Um, I can't get the software to work, the profile editor or the mix librarian uh, on 7 yet. So I haven't been able to show how to customize um, the screens, the displays here. But um, There we go. That's when I did have it working. But you'll see here where I have, I don't know how well it shows up on camera, um, track one, pan, mute, solo, audio channels one through eight. So when I switch, I hit this button here for uh, channel two, which is track two up here. I was only able to do this for the first eight tracks.
but um, if you want to go beyond um, eight tracks, you just hit the next button, and then that's going to show tracks nine through sixteen. So then the faders become nine through sixteen. So now, when I move it, you can see the ninth fader going up and down. And I set them each up as a as a pan for the for the jog wheel. I don't know if you can see that moving there. So I got pan mute solo, the transport controls, and um, the faders working for 32 tracks. So. I don't know. I did have the transport, uh, the uh, locate points where you could jump to different parts of the song working, but I lost that installation of Windows and now I can't remember how I did it. So um, if I do figure it out again, I'll add it to my template uh, once I get it up. But really, this is pretty much it. I just wanted to um, give folks a basic idea of how to get it working. Um, as you can see, the Easy Bus is still perfectly functional. So there you go. Um, I hope this video is helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. Um, if there's something I forgot to mention, I'll be happy to come back and make another video. But um, yeah, hopefully this is useful. Thanks for watching.